Hey guys, we are here in the studios to create some assets for our new baby, the Gran Turismo, some video photo assets. And since we have the car here, let's get up and take a look together. As you know, the Gran Turismo is not just a nameplate for us, it's actually the philosophy of our brand, bringing performance and luxury together. And that is really apparent in how we have designed the new Gran Turismo. So let's take a closer look. Before the invention of the Gran Turismo concept 75 years ago, a customer basically had to decide between a race car or a car for the road. And what the concept of Gran Turismo did is brought these two worlds together. So you could track your car and then drive it home. Basically, by combining this central fuselage with the engine, which in that day was basically that of a Formula One car, and making the car road legal by adding headlights and the volumes that protect the wheels. And the F1 technology is still with us today. The Natuno engine of the Gran Turismo, which comes from the MC20, is mid-car mounted and is utilizing Formula One technology. And that allows us to also, in this case, keep the center line of the car extremely low and allowing the flares, these muscles, to really stand out and create this beautiful sculpture. Now, sculpture combined with purity is extremely important for us because we're not designing cars for a three-year lease contract. Our cars will go into your collection. They will go into a Concours d'Elegance, so they need to express visual longevity. And part of that pursuit of perfection is also to eliminate the cut line that we previously had here on the hood. And we're now moving over to the side to be almost invisible and creating this beautiful clamshell hood that in itself is an engineering masterpiece and belongs onto the wall of a museum to be appreciated as a sculpture. The face of the car is very recognizable being that from the MC20 and the Grecale with this very, very low mouth, of course, featuring our Tridente, which for me is the coolest logo in the industry, combined with those vertical headlights, really expressing this new Maserati design DNA on completing the family between MC20, Grecale and the new Gran Turismo. So let's take a look at the side of the new Gran Turismo. You can really appreciate the clean construction and the amazing proportion. But believe me, clean construction, clean design is the most difficult thing for a designer because there's so many things in your way. You have to consider the glass drop. You have to consider the hinges of the door. You have to consider side impact. But still, with tight collaboration with the engineering team in Modena, we're able to create this very, very pure sculpture, the very pure fuselage design of the door and the rest of the car. When it comes to the front, these beautiful muscles that are covering the massive front tires, 265, 20, and the big 295, 21 inch wheels. When it comes to this part, we're really applying still the human hand. Yes, we're using lasers, we are digitizing, we're scanning, we're using data. But when it comes to such critical parts of the car that are so important to our design and DNA, we're still applying the touch of the human hand. But let's talk about proportion. Proportion is so important for Maserati and of course a car like the Gran Turismo. We were able to accomplish a magic dash to axle ratio. And this gets measured from the center of the front wheel to the cut line of the front door. This distance is what makes the proportion so magic. And we were able to achieve that together with the packaging engineers and Modena by putting the V6 behind the front axle, be able to create this beautiful long stretch sculpted hood. Now, at the same time, when it comes to the cabin, the challenge was to find space for four grown adults. We wanted at the same time to create something very intimate, something that looks very tight, very sporty. And the trick is, when you look at the central line here, that is actually quite high because it has to clear the head of the rear passengers. At the same time, you have the dropping line, the graphic of the window. This distance is quite big, but allows us to combine package for four adults with the look of a very, very tight and sporty cabin. But the result nonetheless is through great packaging that we can hold for adults and we can combine that with supercar performance that in this combination really lets the Gran Turismo stand out. So I hope you enjoyed this little introduction to the Maserati Gran Turismo and I hope to see you soon on the streets.